Our climate plays a major role in our environment. Even the smallest changes can have a great impact on the way people, plants, and animals live. The problem about climate change did not just come overnight. Scientists have already predicted this era. And one of the effects of climate change is flash flood. Philippines is considered to be one of the countries that is vulnerable of the effects of climate change. Flash flood happens when there is extreme rainfall. It commonly happens in rivers which are narrow and steep. It can also take place in small rivers in our municipalities. Adrian Cedillo, officer in charge of the Provincial Disaster Risk Reduction Management Council, says that flash flood happens when the volume of water from rainfall cannot be accommodated by the river. That's one. Ulan gina siya too big because that's a itong lag water-based disaster. So ni flash flood siya kay usog ang ulan, supra kayo ang buhos sa ulan or volume sa ulan kaysa ma-accommodate sa usak ka suba. So that's basically na sa flash flood. Flash floods are also caused by weather disturbances such as tropical cyclones, intertropical convergence zones or ITZCs, monsoons, and cold fronts. Storm surges and high tides can cause flood in coastal areas. When these weather disturbances occur, the Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration is alert to keep an eye on our weather. They give information on public storm signals for people to prepare before any typhoon that will enter the Philippine area of responsibility. December 17, 2011, when towns Valencia, Dumaguete City, San Jose, Amlan, and Tanay City were affected by tropical storm Sendong. The strength of typhoon Sendong was only 65 km per hour. Its estimated amount of rainfall was heavy and was within 400 km diameter which caused heavy rainfall that affected 3,011 families and left more than 30 reportedly dead during the visit of Typhoon Sendong. Sendong caused damage to properties, infrastructures, irrigation canals, farms, and agricultural crops which cost about 730 million pesos. Because of tropical storm Sendong, bridges in Amlan and Tanay City became impossible. Sendong was classified in public storm signal number one. Pagasa gave its warning even before Sendong entered the Philippine area of responsibility. Meanwhile, Pagasa Negros Oriental officer in charge Neptune Catarata says they will only give a warning when a typhoon will reach a certain limit of wind gustiness per hour. <laughs> Uh, for example, the public storm signal number one, tropical cyclone will affect the locality winds not more than 60 km per hour, expected at least 36 hours. Aside from weather disturbances, flash floods are also caused by human activities such as coastal development, informal settlers near the river, and the dumping of garbage in the river. Contributory ang mga waterways. So, possibly siyang ang tubig motipas, muna muanto siya lang lugar, muanto siya sa mga inhabitant ng lugar, magka-flash flash. So, again, nagang factors, no? But uh, the major cause for having a flash flood is nag-iulad. Flash floods may cause loss of lives, properties, and livelihood. But the effects of flash flood does not end here. The victims will struggle with coping after the calamity. Josefina Uwira, a flood victim, says it was not easy for her family to recover after the flood. Yung sindong. 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 Yun. Na, wala naguba yung balay o naguba? Nangaguba. Hindi ba ko naman naman ng ipangilisan o mga plywood dahil ay among mga gamit, tanan, nangahurot o kahanon. Yung yun, saan ito ninyo tayo pagbakwe nga makausog mo? Wala na kayo, wala naman may kapalit. Yung asa man mo nanguhaog ka ng kwarta nga makapundar o gusob sa balay, sa gamit? Wala ma, wala pa may nakakuha. Wala pa? Hmm, wala pa may kapundar o palit atong among mga gamit nga nangawagan. Provincial Environment and Natural Resources Officer Charlie Farber says that flash floods may also affect agricultural production and the main cause of flash flood is climate change. Ang makakusa ng flash floods yung climate change. 
climate change and global warming. So, Tungod kay, mao man na siya yung mo, in, mo, mo change no, sa, sa behavior sa atong rainfall. Loss of lives and properties. No? Mao na siya yung atong ma-experience tayo. No? So, sa kadwa yung sa, sa agricultural crops, no? mawala po no? ang atong mga agricultural production. Tungod kay, nadaot ang atong irrigation, nadaot ang atong kaumahan. So muna siya yung mga basic na mga, 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 mga direct, direct nga ma-feel ma after the plus plus, loss of lives and properties and loss of agricultural crops. When we hear about flood or baha, we always think of the river that overflows, but there are other types of floods that we certainly do not notice. First is the most common, river flood. River flood is the gradual rise of water in the floodplains caused by the overflowing of rivers. Second is the coastal flood. Coastal flood is the result of the rise of water in low-lying coastal areas due to storm surges, high tides, and tsunamis. Adrian Cedillo says that people should be aware of any warning given by government agents. Uh, for possible flash floods. One, ulan uh, caused by dahang mga weather phenomena na dapat imong bantayan na intertropical convergence zone na kay low pressure na kay north and south monsoon na kay no no na the low pressure mura na siya tropical cyclone musulod no? ngayon siya mo na imong balantayan that's why it is important na ang mga tao or ato ang mga agency sa gobyerno would always uh, kana develop tools na makita nato asa na yung mga alagian ng tubig na na yung mga possible flash floods. The fact that when people experience flooding, they will panic and will not know where to go and what to do. But nevertheless, here are some tips from PDRRMC on what to do before, during, and after the flood. What to do before the flood? Find out how often your location is likely to be flooded. Know the flood warning system in your community. Keep yourself informed of daily weather condition. Designate an evacuation area for the family and livestock. And lastly, store food which require only a little cooking and refrigeration. What to do during the flood? First is to avoid attempting crossing rivers with water above knee level. Beware of water-covered roads and bridges. Eat only well-cooked food. Protect leftovers against contamination. And lastly, drink clean or preferably boiled water only. What to do after the flood? Re-enter homes with caution using flashlights. Be alert for fire hazards like broken wires. Report broken utility lines. Do not turn on the main switch or use appliances and other equipment until they have been checked. Lastly, consult health authorities for immunization requirements. Climate change is already here. We cannot stop it, but we can have some ways to lessen its effects. Flash floods do not just cause damage of infrastructures, but also cause loss of lives. It is in our hands now to prevent such calamities from happening. Bab Barot, Silliman University Mascom intern for PIA Negros Oriental.